Clem, how, how big a moment was Ruben Reid's winner last week, coming as it did after the Mansfield, after the Carlisle win on, on the Tuesday night? Uh, I think every point is massive for, at, this, at this part of the season. Um, I think the, the dominance we showed first and second half Saturday, uh, I think coming out there with anything but a win uh, would have been unjust. Um, obviously, as the Kaffir said, the, the whole squad's going to be used. Subs are going to come on and change the game, which they have in, in previous weeks as well. And um, just buzzing that, that Rubes put it in the back of the net. Does the table start to mean a bit more? Do, do, you, do you look at it with a view to where you are, or do you look at it in, with regard to where you are points-wise to sides above you? Uh, I think you, you look after every game to see how obviously the teams around you have got on. Um, but it, it's just about staying, staying in touch and distance with the playoffs. Um, well, staying in the playoffs, to be fair, um, and trying to push to that that next automatic position. Obviously, um, Plymouth played Tuesday, got a draw, which which means they didn't pull away from us. Um, so we're just getting as much points as possible. And obviously, when you play the teams around you, they're, they're the vital games. Well, seven points to Argyle now. Does, does that feel haulable in? Yeah, it's doable. I think. I think the way. I think. I think with the season we had last year, at the end of the season, we, we finished off really strongly. So. Um, I think we have the confidence that we had, had last year and the, the underdog mentality that we've got to go into the game and fight for everything we get. Um, I think we, we can do the same. Your longest spell in your career was at Mansfield, obviously you played Saturday. You mm. went up from the conference with them. Does, is there a feeling around the club here at the moment that you can see replicating what was at Fieldman at that point? Yeah, I, th I think I've said it in previous interviews that at, at that time at Mansfield, we had had real leaders and winners in the dressing room. Um, and I, th I think it's exactly the same here. Um, I think you need that winning mentality. I think it comes from the top. The the, the staff uh, have got it and they've instilled it into the players this season. Um, I think everybody knows what they're doing. Everybody knows what what job they've got when they got on the field, and and it's just about getting as many points as possible now. And how is that? Leadership from the staff impacted on you because you this is your second season. You've had sixty games, so that you know that's that's a decent number. Yeah, I think I think the thing that I've got from uh, from being at Cheltenham is that I, I'll need to work harder, like fight for everything that obviously that we get, like I've said, um, and and work that bit harder. I think you've got to work for your other players as well as yourself. It's not an individual thing here. Um, it, it's a it's a team team ethos that we've got that we literally fight for each other. Um, if one man's struggling, you fill in for him, and, and vice versa. And sometimes low knees don't always have that, but Jacob Greaves and Jake Doyle Hayes and Ben and um, Ben Sheaf all appear to have, you know, really bought into it. Yeah, I, th I think obviously the loans we've 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 bought in have, have done really well for us. Um, obviously Jake Greaves have played a lot. Sheaf he's come in and out, but when he's been in there, he's he's affected it. Um, Obviously, them getting the experience for the, for their individual selves as well. He's he's a good good thing. I think the way that uh, the way that we're playing and the gaffer's got us playing that it complements their style of play as well. Um, obviously, Matt Sheaf like, lo loves to get like in the turn, get get turned. Um, Jake get on the ball as well, and Greaves get forward. So so they've brought an energy to the team, which obviously with the way that we play, we need. Um, so hopefully, he carries on. Good correction because that's Ben's, yeah, ben. ben. <laughs> Ben's his brother. <laughs> yeah. um, Mansfield then, um, what, do you, what, what, what are your thoughts about them at the moment? Because they're not where they would expect to be in 20th place. Yeah, I think you've got to look at them as, as the team that they are. Um, the position that they're in, they definitely shouldn't be there with the players that they've got. Um, but it, it's another game for us, um, another home game where where we should, we should go into it confident. But then again, they, they have players that, that can affect games and obviously them... Coming off the win last week, they're, they're going to be confident as well. Um, so we think first of all we've got we've got to match them uh, with our running, and then hopefully play a bit, and then hopefully get the result. And stop the supply to the people like Maynard and and Rose in particular. Yeah, like I said, they've got players that probably play above this level or can play above this level. Um, so it's, it's just stopping what they're good at and trying to impose our game plan on them. And trying to keep the supply going to Alfie as well, because at the moment. Probably feels like you know. You give give him two chances, you'll finish one and make the give him a, make a save of the other. Yeah, yeah. I think he was a bit disappointed the other day that he didn't get more than one. Um, to be fair, the one on one was probably he, he probably should have finished it. He knows that himself. Um, but yeah, obviously a player like him with his enthusiasm up top, he's he's 
running ability that he does and obviously his finishing ability. It's um it's good to have in the team at this at this this end of the season because obviously goals win your games and we we've the strikers that we've got at the minute, we've got a lot of strikers but it, it's full of quality as well. So even if we do chop and change, like Ruben coming, Reggie's coming, um they're they're all doing a job for the team.